Welcome to the 15th annual Poetry Walk across the Brooklyn Bridge, our poetry pilgrimage that celebrates the poems and places we love and benefits one of the great places for poetry on the globe, Poets House. Last September, we opened the doors of our long-awaited new green permanent home for Poets House. Of course, we want to invite you to visit the new space at 10 River Terrace at Battery Park City. The new 11,000 square foot space is light filled and welcoming, which is free and open to all. 3,500 kids have come on free class trips. It is so exciting to see their excitement. Uh, wonderful programs triple the number of visitors to the collection and to the library. This summer, we're hosting readings in our indoor, outdoor, kind of Tanglewood style fashion because we have this great garage door that lifts up so that we can program out into the park. and wires, I know we have retired the age of coal and steam. Here, people ranted on the radio or ascended in planes. For some, life held no worries. For others, a prolonged and hungry howl. From here, desperate men leapt headlong into the Hudson. And now my canvas is unobstructed as it stretches on cables of string to the feet of the stars. I see now. Here stood Mayakovsky, composing verse Syllable by syllable, I look at you as an Eskimo admires a train. I stick to you as a tick to an ear. Brooklyn Bridge, yes, you're quite a thing. Flood tide below me, I see you face to face. Clouds of the west, sun there half an hour, hour high, I see you also face to face. Crowds of men and women attired in the usual costumes, how curious you are to me. On the ferry boats, the hundreds and hundreds that cross returning home are more curious to me than you suppose. What thoughts I have of you tonight, Walt Whitman? For I walk down the side streets under the trees with a headache, self-conscious, looking at the full moon. In my hungry fatigue and shopping for images, I went into the neon fruit supermarket dreaming of your enumerations. What peaches and what penumbras, whole families shopping at night, aisles full of husbands, wives in the avocados, babies in the tomatoes, and you, Garcia Lorca, what were you doing down by the watermelons? And by the way, you know, the library is fully functioning. I want to make sure that those of you who have questions you'd like to ask about poetry, call them up, use the library. If you want a poem to read at a wedding, call the Poet's House. How about a poem to read at a funeral? Call Poet's House. Graduation, call Poet's House. As a matter of fact, they're so good. The other day I was doing a presentation. I had the honor of uh, uh, making a speech at a uh, group of young children who were just being sworn in uh, as new citizens of the United States. And I called Poet's House for a poem that fit, and it worked beautifully. So, yes, good for Poet's House. Short talk on the sensation of airplane takeoff. Well, you know, that could be true love running towards my life with its arms up, yelling, Thank you.
It's also my opportunity to actually thank the poets, Anne Carson, Thomas Lux, and to thank Galway Canal. I think at the end of my life, I will always remember seeing Galway Canal reading from Walt Whitman uh, against the water. It's just one of the most beautiful things that you could ever experience in your, in your life, and I think that we're, we're all really lucky for it. Flow on, river. Flow with the flood tide and ebb with the ebb tide. Frolic on, crested and scallop-edged uh, scallop waves. Gorgeous clouds of the sunset drench with your splendor me or the men and women generations after me. Cross from shore to shore countless crowds of passengers. Stand up tall masts of Manahatta. Stand up beautiful hills of Brooklyn. Throb, baffled and curious brain. Throw out questions and answers. Suspend here and everywhere. Eternal float of solution. Blab, blush, lie, steal. You or I or anyone after us. Gaze, loving and thirsting eyes in the house or street or public assembly. Sound out voices of young men. Loudly and musical, call me by my nighest name. <laughs>